What is up everyone? Welcome back to Star Ocean until the end of time. So I'm here in Curlsaw Hills. Let's go ahead and enter Curlsaw here. And we're just coming here to head to the Curlsaw training facility. I don't think anybody will have anything new to say around here. The compensation from the mine closure is really something. I still have half left, even though I've been spending like it like crazy. Hehehe. <laughs> I don't think I could ever thank them wing dragons enough for what they've done. I think it is new dialogue there, so maybe they do have new things to say. Your arms. So that must mean you're a soldier, right? Oh wait, no. That person says the same thing. Okay, same thing. I think I remember that person saying that before. So maybe it is all the same dialogue. Did I ever go down here? Yeah, I did. Okay, I got that. Okay. Okay, I'm pretty sure this person says something new here. Just recently, those female spies from Aquaria who infiltrated Aeroglyph Castle were captured by Duke Box and sent to the Kurosaw training facility. It is rumored that the Lieutenant of the Black Brigade, Shelby the Heavy Handed, has ordered that they be put to death very soon. I'd really like to go to watch the execution, but the facility is off limits to us common folk. You want to see an execution? Wow, this person's out of their mind. I'd, I'd like to catch a glimpse of the final moments of those female spies from the Sacred Kingdom of Aquaria. Oh, I'm burning up of curiosity. I simply must go. Seek mental help immediately. <laughs> Wow. Okay. There's somebody up there too. It's here that I offer my daily prayers. I pray that the followers of Apparis, the sun god who were slain. I suppose there were some who were deceived by the religious community just into thinking their actions were just. But I believe that Apparis will still forgive them and guide their spirits to the afterlife. Alright, let's just head to the Kurosaw training facility. I don't think there's anything else that we can do here. All right, Granite Hills. So I believe we can't get 100% in this area as well. The first time. We got some Airy Glove soldiers here. Stop moving. <laughs> Glory to Airy Glyph. Alright, 
All right, fate leveled up there. Nice. So let's see. Uh, no, I need to get 60 points for that. I guess I can get defense up for him. I want to get attack and defense at least level 4 for the AI characters. I'll probably end up having to come back through this area so I'm not going to bother to like cut through the corners I usually always end up going back through the area I like go through it once and then I'll go back I'll backtrack all the way through it again all right I managed to fill the chain up there and got increased recovery rate Well, those I could definitely use. Steel chain mill. Could have got one of those for free. I ended up I bought one of those, but it's okay. They're pretty cheap. They were pretty cheap anyway. Oh yeah, these mushrooms are new by the way. Oh crap. Hey, my mud does a lot of damage to me. It must be weak to earth. Skills learn stun. Chance of knocking an enemy unconscious. I think I'll add Spear of Might there, actually. Okay, let me go ahead and analyze this enemy, too. Emerald Might's going to be used useful for a very long time. Uh, Cliff does have better moves that he'll get later on, but uh, it's really good right now. And more blackberries. I can't take those because we don't have a way to use MP right now. I don't have Blazing Sword set up on uh, Fate, so... And the chain broke again. Great. Because of course it did. Can't stand when that happens sometimes. Like I said in the last episode though. 
doesn't bother me anymore like it used to. When I was younger, it used to anger me so much. I used to get so mad. But I don't have anger anymore, really. It doesn't bother me any, any anymore. So, but it used to make me really mad. I would literally try hard when I was younger trying to keep that chain going. I ain't doing that anymore. I ain't try harding at all anymore. Like I used to. Okay, we're nearing the end of this area. But I want to get 100% obviously. Which means I'm going to have to get some percentage here, I think, when I get... Yep, there we go. Yep, got some there too. Okay, it should be good. Now we can go back and try to get the rest of the percentage. So I'll go ahead and cut the corner here and just go all the way across. And then I'll go the other side and do the same thing. And that's typically what you want to do to get 100% because usually what you're missing is in the corners. All right, now we want to go down this path and repeat the process. Can already see some percentage there. Yep. Got some there as well. Get back on the corner here. Oh, nice. Got some percentage. Got some good percentage there. Can get some more right here, I think. Got some, got some nice percentage there too. We're up ninety eight percent, guys. There we go, got it, nice. Completed the Granite Hills, all right. Good stuff. And that's another 9,000 full as well for that, for completing it. It'll bring us up to 40,000. Uh, typically, when I used to play this game, I'd have a lot more money than this, because I would like, I would farm, I, I loved to grind when I was younger. So I'd literally grind for hours. I don't do that anymore. <laughs> Alright, the next dungeon is...
Up on a, we don't want to skip events. No one's here. I wonder if we're too late. Don't say that. Nope. I don't want to skip a vent. What a bunch of pushovers. It'll be smooth sailing if they're all that easy. <laughs> Still, keep alert. I know. Who do you think I am, anyway? Where is the other Crimson Blade spy? <laughs> Capture her, you bumbling fools. We're sorry, my lord. We had you cornered, but you put up quite a fight. I ordered you to apprehend her, not admire her. Yes, my lord. Sir Shelby! What is it? You've got the Crimson Blade spy? No, sir. A report. And a missive from Duke Vox. From the captain of the Dragon Brigade? Hm. Give me your report first. Our sentries have spotted two suspicious men within the compound. Based on our intelligence, they might be the two escapees. Hmm. So they've come to the rescue too. This is unexpected. I thought sending only one Crimson Blade was a bit light. The compassion of these followers of Apris is really playing into our hands. Find and capture them all. Do not fail me. Yes, my lord, and here, the missive. <laughs> what is it, Sir Shelby? <laughs> this is rich. It seems Albel will not be back for some time. Our captain? But why? Seems the captain of the Dragon Brigade has little love for our captain. Albel is being detained for a while. We're supposed to take care of things in the meantime. I see. By capturing the two escapees before Sir Albel returns, my lord will get all the credit. With such accolades, you might even be promoted to captain yourself. Exactly. Our prey is now within our grasp. We must act quickly before he returns. Don't kill the escapees. They must be taken alive. Sir. Alright, so since it'll be a while before we get to the next save point, I'll go ahead and um, read some dictionary terms. I'll read five of them. And then I'll end the video. In the next episode, we'll head to the Curl Saw training facility. Granite Hills. A region noted for its deep gorges connecting Curl Saw with the Curl Saw training facility. It is the only part of the kingdom of Aeroglyph used to grow crops. In actuality, however, the areas flat enough to use for agriculture are no wider than a soldier's shield. Okay, Servia won. A heroine who a heroine who stole who stood against the oppression of a Greeton when the technological superpower attacked and destroyed the kingdom of Akor. It is a matter of historical record that Sylvia One annihilated the forces of the Kingdom of Greeton, or at least in the power of the sacred orb which he received from the emissary of Apparis upon the land of Serphorio. Sir Emissary of Apparis, a prophet born from the divine breath of the god Apparis, the primary god of the Church of Apparis, the emissary of Apparis is charged with acting as the voice of Apparis. It is said 
that each turning point in history the gods have bestowed their secrets upon the Holy Mother and led her along the true path. Sir Furio, the former capital of the ancient kingdom of Aquor, a, play, a kingdom which predates both the sacred kingdom of Aquaria and the military superpower of Aeroglyph, according to the historical text. In a war 300 years ago, Servia I, the future queen, released the power of the sacred orb to strike back against the mechanized corpse of the technological superpower of Greton. The corpse was occupying Zephoria at the time, and as a result, the city sank below the sea, along with the occupying forces. At present, the city is located in territory belonging to the Sanmite Republic, and it is said that many humanoids who are suited to life underwater dwell there. And the last one we're going to read is humanoid. <laughs> Refers to the sentient races of other of, of races other than humans. The race that comprises the vast majority of sentient beings. Note that races that resemble humans very closely in appearance but which are separate from the human race self are not always referred to as humanoid races. Alright guys. Thank you guys for watching. Oops, not load. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.